to uh, you are you are also looking very pretty we can say there are two pretty women yes <laughs> i would like to know about you so could you please introduce yourself yeah sure this is akansha and i live in unna that is comes uh, under the state up and i am a private tutor and is uh, preparing for the government exam also the teaching exam i just want to be the same profession like you <laughs> i think you are also practicing for you a primary teacher right yes yes, yes. so uh, may i know your education about your education yeah uh, I just completed my graduation BSc with electronics and math. After that, I completed my B.Ed. Um, it's just 2020, and now I uh, I cleared my TET and CTET both exam. And just waiting for the vacancy, upcoming vacancies. That's great, it. Great, great. And so, so you will be. I have a book. What did you say? I am married. Also, I have a kid too. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. All right. That is great. That is great. So soon you will become a teacher. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, is this your kind of dream job? It's just a part of dream. Dream. May I know full dream? Actually, <laughs> first dream to grab a job only. Second one is I want to be the famous in whole country. Oh, <laughs> I know it's a little bit impossible, <laughs> but still I want this. Okay. I want to. Third, I just want to help the poor people. Uh, like whenever I saw the small kids uh, to rag, picking the rag. so it's very i just started my heart started crying on that time so i just wanted Mama. to help them mama hmm. yeah, that is great so do you have any plan for this okay. yes <laughs> exactly i have plan uh, uh if uh, first of all i will uh, join the job then after that i can achieve some money earn some money so that's why so that i can help them and i want to open a school that would be free for that children oh that's amazing 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 idea so here i have one question for you and i just want to um, uh, know about what is your opinion on that so uh, what do you think that uh, uh, women's empowerment do you really feel that we really need this kind of concept right now or we don't need any more no, actually we need still we need because uh, there are lots of happening things happening with the women also in these day we uh, we do the lots of progress in this era but still we need because uh, the girls are not safe in lots of state in night mostly the even the, not only the girls kids are not safe baby girls are not safe three years four years child got you know raped by the person i don't know how can do the people like this so, so uh, definitely women empowerment is most important for the girls and also it's not only the responsibility of government it's also the responsibility of family they should teach the uh, their kids uh, the difference between wrong and right us and mm-hmm. also also i think they should uh, uh, teach their children to you know like judo karate and they should give the classes i think yes so they can save herself only i think it should be mandatory uh, everywhere i don't know how it yeah. should be uh, impl- uh, implementation i don't know how to how can we implement these things but uh, maybe uh, may i feel that through schools we can implement mm-hmm. these things we can provide this kind of activity uh, to our girl child uh, yes girl yeah, because- the family cannot afford the fee of these institute right so yes. i think school in school these facilities should be available especially yes. in government government should at least these things also for the yes, even yes. they know how difficult to live in the a life 
of girl when i feel that uh, in uh, uh, in uh, even not middle school not uh, higher secondary school in primary level itself we need to aware girl child uh -huh. that how they can deal with this kind of problems we need to open uh -huh. And I think that we need to create one course that how can we uh, we make aware our girl child and how can we how, how can we make aware aware our parents as well about these things because many of parents even don't uh, aware of these things that our girl children are huh. going through these kind of things right so this is one right. thing and uh, there are so many things uh, talk about uh, women's empowerment. Right, so the yeah, it's a long. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, what do you think? I, I mean, I don't know. Your baby is girl or boy? Is it boy or girl? Yeah, I was about to. Uh, I I took the admission in the that classes that was uh, what is called Kurfu, Kurfu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu, <laughs> Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, Kung Fu and Judo correct, but just because of pandemic, I can't. Uh, uh, she can't go to there, but after the when the situation will be good, she will definitely go there. And what? And I asked yes. many times the difference between wrong test and right test. Yeah, she knows very well. Yes, yes. And one more thing, I would like to know your opinion. Like, uh, um, when once uh, uh, child I and mean, girls children uh, grow enough, so parents uh, start. Uh, some restriction that you cannot go the, over there. You cannot go there. You can you can't go there. Like you know, after evening. So, do you think this is right way to do these kind of restrictions, or uh, don't you think so that this is how you just limited your personality? <laughs> All right. I think parents should be friendly with her child with their children, because so that they can share everything. To their parents because I, I saw uh, and also I heard many times the children due to the fear of parents they can't share anything uh, uh, still many times they go through with the wrong things and they can't uh, they can't share with the parents because they thought they could not understood them yes so I think restriction should be but little bit according to the child whatever which is necessary only but not everywhere you can't do this you can't go because children also need the liberty hmm. so that they can live their life they can do whatever they want to do actually and if you are friendly with them they will share with you so you can know what your children are doing where he is going otherwise he will telling uh, he will told you a lie and he can, he will do whatever he want to do so better this better than this you should be friendly with him and uh, stop the rest restriction only apply the restriction where it needed yeah here i want to mention i want to say like uh, uh, parents have their own concern they are they all are protective towards their child they don't want to they exactly don't want to restrict okay. their child but uh, uh, uh -huh. instead of restriction they, they want to protect their child but whatever the things they um, do or they uh, what should i say they force to their child somehow they oh, rest restricted them and uh, 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 they don't understand that in this process they are uh, oh. uh, limited or they can they don't they can they, they don't give exposure to their child so that they can improve right so oh. Uh, rather than risk, um, uh, forcing some restrictions, why don't uh, par parents should provide some kind of physical activities, some kind of sports, so ch girls child uh, uh, will would be more uh, physically strong and they know how to protect their self. I mean, self defense activity. Kind of things you mean to say, uh, apart from restriction, instead of restriction, they should uh, give the opportunity to do this yes. so that they yes. can be physically strong as well. Whenever yes. they face this uh, any kind of trouble or any kind of problem, yes. so they mm -hmm. can at least they have some primary knowledge so they can face and they can uh, get some solution and, uh, for this, right? Like, 
uh, we always watch and see many um, disturbing news that uh, that girl yeah. uh, get raped, raped right so uh -huh. Uh -huh. we always see and we think that this is something happened with another girl it is not going to happen with me right we have yeah. this kind of mindset and we never ever uh, try to use something so that we can uh, if we uh, will if we will have to face this kind of situation so we will do something at least rather than nothing we will able to do something so like nowadays uh, we can uh, put a paper spray like a small knife for self defense like small pin like uh, chili powder this is like basic things right but if we can uh, we can keep these things with ourselves so i feel that we can protect ourselves and we can save our lives at least we have something to do in private primary level definitely Always. we need, we all need to, we all should be aware with these things we are not aware we feel always feel that this is something happened to others and every person uh, every parents understood this thing so i think our country also can be we yes. can say it's safe we got yes. safe for awareness is yes. more important it is not the responsible for this parents are also as uh, the responsible for this as also we can say everybody also. need to have awareness and take some action not only you can you just restrict your child at home and, uh, and there are lots of videos to do the how to do the aware of your kids how you can be aware with this this type of crime but people just ignore that just they didn't mention ignore they don't take the seriously yeah? guys because we, i i uh, mentioned we did they, we have that mindset that this is something not going to happen with us it's not my child yes, so yes. I, I, i have to care about that yes okay so akansha i'm so sorry i need to wrap up the session right now because i have another session i can't do but i would love to talk with you and share some things some thoughts with you it is it would be great for me anything all right want to say we have one minute uh, nothing nice meeting you and thank you for being uh, to have me in your conversation and yeah it's all right <laughs> by the way you are looking very beautiful <laughs> your oh, husband is lucky one <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you too uh, you are you are also looking very pretty we can say there are two pretty women <laughs> yes <laughs> 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 uh, yeah okay bye bye take care have a nice day you too